and we're back to doing photography projects and this time I'm going to show you a simple Vesalisa mixed media effect. I found this effect online, just check the description below, I've linked to it. It's easy to do and it can look good. Let me go over an example and I'll show you a couple of more afterwards. First up we've got a simple image right here, let me copy it, press Ctrl J, I like to work with copies. And now I'll use an adjustment layer black and white. Let me use the auto function. We can obviously manually adjust it. Let me make it a little bit darker. So this is always the first step. If you don't have a black and white photo, turn it into black and white. For example, use an adjustment layer for that. Second step, we now create a simple shapes. In all of the examples that I've seen, rectangles were used. So I click on this toolbox and use the rectangle shape. As a stroke, pick none, and as a fill, you can pick it right here, but let us not worry that much about the color, we will adjust it later on anyway. So let me just pick something that we can see. You could obviously also use black or white, but in this case, something like this, a bluish color, that should be good. Just drag it. In my Photoshop version, I have to hold Alt to have this freeform drag, otherwise it's going to expand from the center position. Then use the move tool and you can move that new shape around. You can adjust it also under the properties menu. If you can't see that, go to window, click on properties, it should open. Once again, you can play around with the fill, but as a stroke, we don't have any colors at all. You can also later on use the basic swatches. But let us first play a little bit around with the shapes. I press Ctrl T and rotate it. Let me put it a little bit to the bottom. And I'm going to add two more shapes. I can still move it around. Or press Ctrl T to transform it. Let me select them all. I am at the bottom rectangle, then I hold Shift and click on the top one in the layer hierarchy. Now all three are selected. I press Ctrl G to group them. And now we can simply right click blending options and use the color overlay. And we can give that different colors and even use the swatches up here. Well, let me move that a little bit to the left so that you can see everything. So I click on the swatch next to the blending mode on a color overlay and then I use the basic swatches with this color picker tool. I've seen it like this, but I've also seen it with a lowered opacity so that we have a little bit of a transparency effect. I think that looks even better with the transparency so let us do that and we only have to adjust it for the group and our rectangles are affected. Let me show you two more examples. In many examples I've seen landscape photography and a person is being covered with rectangles. So this is our second example here. And you can also use portraits and add this transparency effect. I think that looks best. But this is the basic approach to creating this Visualizer mixed media effect. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.